In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start coding your own worlds in Minecraft using Python code. Uh, to get started, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi device, first of all. This won't work on a Windows machine or a Mac machine. You do need one of those little Raspberry Pi devices, because on the Raspberry Pi devices, you get access to this cool little app called Minecraft Pi. So I'm going to get you to the open that now. So go to your start menu, go to the games tab here and select the Minecraft Pi app. Okay, up pops the Minecraft Pi edition. So this is the own little version that Raspberry Pi uses. It comes in a small window which you can't make any bigger. It won't go to full screen. So what I want you to do is just push that off to the right hand side for now like so. That's the first app we're going to need to do our coding today, obviously. The second thing I'm going to get you to open up is a program that allows us to write our code in. Now there's a few different programs you can use on the Raspberry Pi, but the one I want you to go to is under the Programming tab, and it's called Mew. It's just a nice simple editor that allows you to just write your code in, press Run, and it sends it across to Minecraft. It's super simple, and it's great for beginners. So it comes out a little bit big, my version of Mew, so I'm just going to resize that window a bit so we can see all of the Minecraft window, yet still see a fair bit of our code. I might pull that down. A little bit laggy here, but something like that will look good. Now when you load up Mew for the first time, you're probably going to have it looking like this. It'll have a white screen. And you've probably got this box that comes up asking you to select what mode you would like to use. Uh, if you do get this box that comes up, you want to select the Python 3 mode because we're going to be coding in Python. Let's click OK on that. And if you want to change a theme, by all means change it. You've got three different themes to pick from. So you've got the dark grey, which I like using. You've got the black or the white. So just pick your theme. And we're pretty much good to go now. So I'm going to delete that first snippet of code there. We don't need that. Okay. So as I said before, Mew is used to write our Python code. And what we're going to do is send it across over to Minecraft to create um, different worlds. So before I get started on the coding, I might even jump over to Minecraft and click on Start Game and click Create New, where we're going to make a brand new world. Now Minecraft is just going to simply make a random world for you. Now you can look around by using your mouse. You can look up and down and left and right and whatnot. To move, you need to use the W, A, S, and D um, keys on your keyboard. You can see mine's a little bit laggy simply because I'm doing a screencast at the moment. But you get the idea. Go and have a look around your world. Now you can cheat a little bit in the Pi edition of Minecraft. If you double tap spacebar, you can fly. So I pressed it once and then held it down a second time. And we're flying around our world now. So you can get a bit of an idea on what's happening in your world. If you double press spacebar again, you should just drop back to the ground and you can just walk around like usual. Remember, just like in Minecraft, you can use your mouse to whack some things out of the sky, do a bit of digging and whatnot, um, and you can also do a fair bit of building as well, but we'll get to all that later on. All I want you to do now is just go and explore your world quickly, have a bit of a fly around and see what is in that world. Okay, now you'll notice that your mouse is locked in Minecraft as well. All right, so to get out of Minecraft and over to Mew again, you need to press Tab on your keyboard, which will release your mouse, and you can now pop back over to your coding window. So all I want to do today is start really simple. All I want you to do is make a message appear on the screen that just says, Hello, Minecraft world. And that's all this tutorial is going to show you. Okay, so to get started on doing this, we need to write in two lines of code that you're going to end up writing for every single program when you're coding in Minecraft. I'll just type them out now and quickly explain them to you. The first line of code is going to say from mcpy.minecraft import star or import asterisk. What that is doing is giving us access to a library of code that some other smart dude has written and it allows us to build worlds worlds in uh, Minecraft. Okay, so we've now got access to all the code that allows us to go and build in Minecraft. The second line of code simply connects Mu to Minecraft over here. So whenever we run our programs, uh, it just get the code gets sent across over to Minecraft. All right, so that second line of code just says MC 
equals Minecraft with a capital M this time dot create and then we open and close a set of brackets a little bit confusing but okay that line there is just connecting mu to Minecraft so they talk to one another and this first line of code here is just allowing us to have access to all the different codes that allows us to build in this Minecraft world okay these two lines of code must go at the top of every program you write when you're coding in Minecraft so try and remember those two lines of code uh, if you don't remember them now I'm sure you will by the end of the term okay so that's the first thing the next thing we need to do is tell Minecraft that we want to display a message on the screen so the way we do that is write MC dot post to chat this post to chat is a function or a little snippet of code that has been written by somebody else it comes in that Minecraft library that we imported earlier now post to chat allows us to post messages on the screen so what we need to do now is open up a set of brackets and quotation marks and write whatever message we want to appear on the screen so as I said before we're gonna say hello to the Minecraft world so that's my message inside the brackets and quotation marks there I'm going to post to the chat window hello Minecraft world and that's it that's your first program written in mine uh, in Python for your Minecraft world so what we need to do now is save it okay be a good idea here to make a new folder by pressing that little folder there with the red star on it and we'll just call it Minecraft code Oops. click open and we'll call this the number one tutorial and we'll just say writing messages and click save now that you've saved it it's ready to run so what I'm going to do is press the run button at the top and as I press run have a look at your Minecraft window and you can see the words hello Minecraft world appear on the screen now they stay there for a few seconds before they just disappear into nowhere there they go it's as easy as that and as I said before you can change that message up so you don't have to say hello Minecraft world you can say something like my name is Bob stop it run it again and now you get a different message my name is Bob okay so have a play around with that have a go at writing some different messages uh, when you're finished just change your original message there back to hello Minecraft world okay but that's your first bit of coding in Python for Minecraft simply telling the computer to display a message on the screen pretty easy so I'm going to save that and I will catch you in the next video tutorial